For Satino Grace Boys Basketball, there's a lot of obvious good that comes with being two-time defending state champs. Just that experience you've already had of being there is really helpful. Like last year, like winning the state chip, like you know what to expect, like teams are going to play their absolute hardest and everything. But with the good comes a standard set high and a lot of other teams looking to knock the Eagles off their perch. Expectations like sometimes can get to you. We try not to let them get to us, but and then also just like everyone is just out for you. Like you just have kind of a target on your back that everyone's going for because they don't want you to win. Like. Tatino Grace has earned their way to a one seed in the Class 3A state tournament, going 24 and 5 with a schedule featuring 21 Class 4A opponents. This group has, uh, even in comparison to our last group, they have a competitive swagger about them where you know they really like big challenges. And there are days, especially with our youth, you know we have a couple sophomores in the lineup, we have a freshman in the lineup. You don't really know what you're going to get all the time, but we know these guys are going to compete. With only having two seniors on their roster, the Eagles have had to find their identity throughout this season, and now they're ready to roll into Williams Arena in hopes of a three-peat. The main thing that we've kind of cracked down on is just like the small things in our offense, and then just talking on defense, like over communicating, being loud. We're a very versatile team and we're bigger than most teams, so we use our size advantage and then when they collapse on us, we kick it out. That's what we've been uh, thinking about the most. You know, we're really excited about it, and the kids are really excited about it. They seem pretty loose right now. Uh, it doesn't seem like there, there are a ton of nerves, but it's not, in a, it's not in an arrogant way. You could just, you have some kids that have been around winning, and obviously that doesn't guarantee victory going through March, but I do think it gives you a level of resolve knowing that they've seen what it takes uh, once you get into that tournament. TG will open up the state tourney against Stewartville at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. In Fridley, Chaz Moots. <laughs> CCX Sports. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.